others at the table will also be making a statement. These three women had a right to expect that if they underwent fertility treatments and entrusted their eggs to be preserved, that those to whom their eggs were entrusted would fulfill their legal and moral duty to protect them. Unfortunately, these three cancer survivors have been devastated to learn that their trust has been betrayed. We're going to take some questions for the attorneys. Uh, cancer is a thief. It robs you of nearly everything and leaves you with almost zero control over your life. Making the choice to have my eggs frozen felt empowering. It offered a light at the end of a very dark tunnel. Things may be terrible now, I thought, but at least one day I'll still be able to have the family I'd always dreamed of. But now that light is extinguished. The overwhelming grief was as if I had lost a child. I have not stopped feeling that way since March 9th. I recently took a blood test just this week, thank you, which confirmed that my ovarian function has been ruined from the extensive chemotherapy I've undergone. My hopes and dreams have been shattered. I have no idea how I will go on. Everything has been stolen from me and my spirit is crushed. And I, I will say, when I first heard the news about this whole debacle, I was shocked. I called the helpline hoping that maybe, just maybe, my eggs weren't affected. When I spoke to the nurse on the helpline, I learned that they were. My eggs were 29 of the 4,000 eggs and embryos carelessly ruined by university hospitals. I cried, and my husband comforted me. I opened a letter a few days later, a generic notice with no apology. I spoke to the doctors and tried to formulate a plan, but no one has answers for me. This should not have happened to me or the near thousand other families, and I want to make sure that it never happens again. Cap of Rachel and Sarah, and a lawsuit will be filed later this week. But this is the lawsuit that was filed. 